It's training camp season, and today we're looking at the New York Jets, and we're getting a good look at Garrett Wilson. Like always, he's blowing up, making big catches. We're going to look at that today, but before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're looking at these players behind the scenes at training camp, at practice, and if you're drafting fantasy players right now, if you're doing your fantasy drafts, you got to make those big decisions. Maybe you're thinking about Garrett Wilson in the back end of the first round. Maybe Felty in the second round. You're wondering if you should draft him. Well, you're going to see some moments here from training camp that might help you with your decision, along with a lot of other players, because we've been doing this for weeks all throughout training camp. Also, minicamp OTAs, we do this every year as well. Click that button. Stop missing out. We're looking at Garrett Wilson right now. Got about five minutes of clips. I pretty much have everything from training camp. And as we get deeper into training camp, I'll just drop all the clips I have with the new clips. Here are some of the newer clips from the last week or so. And he was torching the commanders. He was torching them in the joint practices. A lot of people pay attention to the preseason games. You need to pay attention to the joint practices as well. They are pretty much just as important as the preseason games because that's when things are getting hot and heavy. That is when things are getting very competitive. You're getting more looks. You're getting more opportunity. They're, they're working with things that are newly getting installed. You get the ones in there. All these from the start is pretty much from yesterday, last week, and then in the back end, it's, it's pretty much all of it. I pretty much got all of it. But the joint practice against the commanders, he was burning everybody. He was burning everybody. Aaron Rodgers targets Garrett Wilson all the time. Garrett Wilson's going to get 25-30% of the targets. He's going to get... An elite target share. As long as these two are healthy on the field together, Garrett Wilson is going to have an elite target share, meaning he's going to get a ton of targets. And this offense is going to be humming and moving the ball. They got they got all the pieces to do everything they want. They got Mike Williams back. He's looking good and healthy for how long? I can't really predict that. Malachi Corley underneath. They got two good running backs now. Braylon Allen's been looking good. We all know about Brees Hall. Brees Hall's good in the passing game. Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson's going to be the X factor in this offense. He's been breaking off routes, creating separation. He's been assertive. He's been good at the catch point. He's been burning everybody in training camp. He is burning everybody, and he usually does. He usually does. But it's just at a different clip with Aaron Rodgers there. And Aaron Rodgers has been looking good. Garrett Wilson has looking like... He's been taking a step forward. And the reason why it's just more consistent, play after play after play, we might be getting into his elite wide receiver era. We might be getting there with Garrett Wilson. We might be. We're going to have good, consistent targets flowing his way. He looks like he's in the best form of his career, and we're seeing that. Just look at the clips, and this is every day. And most of these are from the Jets themselves. Just showcasing him every day. He's making play after play after play in camp. Play after play after play. There's not many wide receivers in the league from training camp that has this many clips. There's a reason. One, it's the Jets, New York media. As we know, Malik Neighbors, Danny Dimes and company, and the Jets here. They're good at getting their clips out. They're good at showcasing their players, so you're going to get a lot. Him building a rapport with Aaron Rodgers, which is always good, especially with a veteran quarterback. He loves to target his alpha wide receiver. He needs an alpha wide receiver. He's got one. Garrett Wilson's that. Let me tell you about Garrett Wilson. I remember the spring game at Ohio State when he was a freshman, when you were just read about him during recruiting, and you're wondering how good he was, and then you got to the spring game. And the Scarlet and Gray game, they tossed it up to him. He was in the back of the end zone. He rose up. And you saw how sticky those hands were. And throughout his career at Ohio State, you saw the route running. It was a high State offense, so there was a lot of crossers, a lot of mesh concepts. And now we're getting 
into his NFL career. And every year, I don't think people state this enough, he's just getting better. He's just getting better. I think we're hitting his elite wide receiver era. He was there from a talent perspective, but I think he's going to be undeniable. Undeniable. As long as everything stays good, everybody stays healthy, you're expecting a close to a 30% target share better. 25 minimum. Like, if he's around a 20 to 22% target share, that's low. That's low, and that's still good. That's what I'm saying. He's going to get a lot of the work in the passing game. They're going to look at him a lot. 7 to 10 targets a game. Seven's going to be lowish. 5 will be low. Garrett Wilson's going to go off this year. Garrett Wilson's looking good. And it's play after play after play. The joint practices, it was just him. Just schooling everybody. He's schooling everybody. He's rocking and rolling. Let me know what you think about Garrett Wilson. Are you getting him in drafts this year? I want to hear about it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. On the way out, one thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.